Hi, welcome. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. So this is the series where we read Al-Anon self-help recovery, 12 step program books. And the books we're reading are Hope for Today, Day to Time in Al-Anon, and Courage to Change. You can see my bookmark in here is just for today. And I'll read probably a little bit from that as well. So, all right, well, let's get started. Page 335 in all of the books that are here. They're all daily reflections. So welcome back to those. And um, my name's Jolie, if I didn't say so already, but here we go. So while listening to others share at Al-Anon meetings from Hope for Today, I became aware that I hold myself too unrealistically high standard and a high standard. So I expect myself to be less fallible than everyone else. I acquired this character defect as a child in my attempts to control my alcoholic parent by pleasing and, and appeasing them. It might have served a purpose then, no matter how illusionary it was, but it doesn't work for me now. Such perfectionism perpetuates dissatisfaction and low self-esteem. What makes me think I'm different from everyone else? It's one thing to strive to do my best, but it's quite another to punish myself if results fall short of my high expectations. I am human after all, and it is in our very nature to have faults and limitations. So in my misguided quest for excellence, I often act as if my personal slogan were, if it's worth doing, it's worth making a major project out of it. As a result, I usually don't have enough time to finish many projects. Rather, they languish in various stages of flawless incompletion. I need to remind myself continually to practice, keep it simple, and I'm getting better at it. Recently, for the first time in my life, I heard myself say, that's good enough. The seventh step says, humbly ask God to remove our shortcomings. To do so requires me to acknowledge my humanity, including my imperfectionism or my perfectionism or my imperfectness. So to be humble is to accept my place in the universe. It's unrealistic to expect perfection from an imperfect being in an imperfect world. The only perfection I can hope to attain is to be perfectly imperfect. It's a lot of perfection there. So thought for the day, a mistake a day keeps my perfectionism at bay. Today, I will endeavor to enjoy my humanness. And there's a quote from how Al-Anon works for families and friends of alcoholics, and it'll be on page 323. It says, my sponsor's gentle reminder of progress, not perfection, encourages me to give myself credit. Hmm. What's coming up for me is that I screwed up on the first take on this. So I had to like, you know, like go back into Zoom, like say, no, don't keep, you know, don't uh, film it and, you know, go back and then restart it. And I thought, oh, that's ironic because when I was reading this, it's about perfectionism and I'm like, I'm not perfect. You know, I know I'm not perfect and, you know, the la-di-da and, you know, even my art, you know, I'm like letting things go, but I didn't realize how much of a perfectionist I have been in my life. And I'm grateful to see that and to be able to do my best at keeping it simple because, you know, working with that fifth step, which is reading my fourth step, how long it took me to do it. And then I couldn't stay in that group because, you know, there was deadlines. 
and I didn't finish on the deadline because I had this excuse and that excuse and this excuse, but also because I was trying to make it perfect. So I have it as perfect as I can um, and I'm gonna keep doing it, but my sponsor keeps telling me to keep it simple. And I believe I am getting better at it because I'm at least realizing it where before I was like painfully unaware of it. So one day I'll get to the seventh step, but I'll get there when I'm supposed to. And um, I mean, it took me a long time to get in this program. And so I'm gonna just do my best and one day at a time, right? So, um, all right, so let's reach some courage to change. It is bookmarked by a Just for Today bookmark from Elanon, and we love these because they have like, Just for Today, I will adjust myself to what is and not try to adjust everything to my own desires. I will take my luck as it comes and fit myself to it. And let's see, just for today, I will be unafraid. Especially, I will not be afraid to enjoy what is beautiful and to believe that as I give to the world, so the world will give to me. And just for today, I will have a quiet half hour all by myself and relax. And during this half hour, Sometime I will try to get a better perspective of my life. There's a few more on here and uh, I will leave that for another time. So here we go, page 335, Encouraged to Change. So here we go. Everyone who plays a part in our lives offers something we might learn. Other people can be our mirrors, reflecting our better or worse qualities. They can help us to work through conflicts from the past that were never resolved. They can act as catalysts, activating parts of ourselves that need to rise to the surface so that we can attend to them. Others can learn from us as well. We are all connected. That is our great strength. So when I grow impatient with someone's sharing in a meeting or take offense at a loved one's inattention or blaming, or feel incapable of coping with another person's choices, I will consider the possibility that my teacher or my mirror stands before me. And I will ask my higher power to help me perceive their gifts. And today's reminder, one reason I came to Al-Anon is to learn to develop healthy, loving relationships with myself and others. I recognize that I need other people. I will welcome those my higher power brings to me today. And there's a quote from the Midrash. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's a book, The Midrash. And it says, separate needs are weak and easily broken, but bound together, they are strong and hard to tear apart. This is coming up for me is that strength comes from unity. And, um, and to learn how to let go of expectations of others. And like if someone sends you a text that tells you how you felt about something, you know, I, you know, I, I've tend, I tend to get things like that. If someone tells me, like, They'll text you and you'll get this text and it says, this is how you felt about me, or this is, this is what you did, you know, and this is what, and you're like, I, like, 
what do I say to that? Should I defend myself? You know, um, I've tried that before and then it just gets up into this whole mess because um, I don't want to hurt the other person. I don't want, because it seems like they're, you know, railing about something, you know, and, and I don't, um, but also I don't want to be told what I'm feeling or what, you know, like it's, it's a mix, isn't it? You know, like, how do you, how do you guys deal with that? Like, like that confuses me, honestly, that's, that's a teacher for me. You know, I need, I need to talk to my sponsor about that one for sure. Go to a meeting and see what, because like, I know I can't control anybody and I'm not here to do that. It's just that when you keep getting someone just telling you what you were thinking, like that. It's hard. It's a hard one because I'm not even involved. It's like I don't feel like I'm involved with any type of conversation. Like, so how did you feel or how do you feel or how did you feel? You know, that's, you know, seems healthy. But when someone's throwing that at you, it's like, do I want to participate with that? And I like I don't because it gets to where I, I'm in a defense mode and I don't want to be in that place because it's just, it's harmful, I think. I think it's harmful for myself and my, my um, mental, spiritual and physical health. You know, I, I feel like that um, it's very triggering. So anyway, Let's read the next one. One day at a time in Eleanor. Any feedback, I appreciate. So, uh, page 335, here we go. One of the ways in which we help ourselves to serenity and an orderly life is through 12-step work, so-called because it is the final one of the 12 steps by which we live in Al-Anon. Okay, so it means to be always ready to help another person in trouble. Someone new who may not yet have heard that Al-Anon can help when there is alcoholism in a family. This carrying a message requires constant awareness of a possible need, perhaps a neighbor or someone we meet casually who indicates that he or she or they is living with such a problem. An outreach to you as well. So that's why we, the likes help the algorithm to spread out to people. And um, so anyway, getting moving on with that. So that's 12 step work I feel. So today's reminder, I will tactfully offer help to anyone who needs to learn how to live with all the many difficulties with alcoholism that which alcoholism can create or aggravate, my first suggestion should be that there is always hope and that a new way of life can be found in Al-Anon in the company of others who share the same problem. So I will always be ready to carry the message to others. The need is all around me if I keep myself alert enough to recognize it. So in helping others, I also help myself. So that's one of the ways in which we help ourselves to serenity is by working with another person in, who has, uh, you know, um, yeah, I remember when I first came into Al-Anon, I was like, everybody needs Al-Anon. Oh my God. Not that I'm not doing that now, but I'm not. Like, it's different. I have an understanding where it's like, I don't want to scare anyone off. And yet I don't want to be like, like a cult leader here. <laughs> like, everybody needs it. You know, you only need it when you realize that your life is unmanageable and you 
have the will to change. Because I remember before I came into Al-Anon, I knew about it, but I was like, I don't need to do one more thing for the addict or the alcoholic because I have tried everything and they're supposed to do what they're supposed to do. So I don't have to do that too. Because, right, that's that's a normal. I've seen that a lot of um, people before they come into Al-Anon have this attitude to like, like, because we're just like, you know, I, I, I cook, I do this, I, you know, all these things, right? Take the garbage out. I did, you know, I have, I eat alone. You know, they say they're going to come, they don't come. They say they're going to, you know, you know, travel. And then you're like, okay, good. And then like, you find out they're traveling with other people, other platonic people, right? And you're like, then why didn't you tell me you were traveling with your ex-fiance? You know, is that okay? No, that's not okay. So like, why would I want to go into al so that I can help this person, right? because I have anger, like I have resentment, which I didn't realize that I can get rid of for myself. I didn't realize it was, it was hurting me. I thought that it was just something I had and I was gonna be stuck with for the rest of my life. So what, what happened is I was so depressed. I was going to the therapist, which I still do. I still have my therapist, but um, you know, working through everything uh, but now I realize that I can be free of that. I can forgive and I'm much happier. Like I'm not confused because of all that distorted thinking that I grew up with. So, and I know I can't do it. Like, I can't just know it. Like, I've read all these books, right? I've read a lot of books, but um, like every self, self-help self book, you know, like the Eckhart Tolle, which I still listen to. I love him. You know, it's, he's about presence, but like this actually like makes sense with that. Like, because I was like, well, it's this magic thing if I could just get there. But like my stinking thinking was just like eating me because I'm like, but but they're doing that. And I'm here, peace and love, and they're doing that. And I'm like, so I was just, I, my life was unmanageable, right? And what else? I was reading, um, yeah, I was trying to read uh, all the other books. And I, I did. I read so many. I listened to so many podcasts, right? But before I came into al none of it had some type of a uh, step-by-step connection group so I you know once and then the reason why I started this particular channel is because I really wanted to read every day and I was finding I wasn't and I was listening to the ladies and in the meetings and they're like oh I read this morning and I'm like I didn't read I want I want to read every day so I'm like oh I want to start this channel uh, for my astrology videos and I thought well I'll start reading the Al-Anon and uh, because it'll help me first and foremost, selfish program. But then I thought, well, then if somebody else wants to listen, that'll be great too. And then look, we have, what is it? We have over 291 people that are subscribed. I mean, that's really, I'm so grateful to see you and you're interacting with each other and, um, so anyway, I feel really blessed. I never expected even one. I just thought, well, it'll be something I can listen to every day. So I won't forget because I really want to work on my change and so that I can forgive and move on and do my amends eventually. Once I finish my, you know, it just takes time and it's, I'm learning patience with uh, myself and others. So um, yeah, with 
learning how to have a tolerant, uncritical awareness of others. So that will gradually change my personality for the better. And that I can only do one day at a time. And we'll go ahead and say the third step prayer. I see my cat is taking a little rest back there. She came in from, we were watching, we we're watching TV. You know, what else? Perfect. We don't have a perfection here. We have a TV that only, um, we can hear it only for <laughs> the sound. Like after like 15 minutes, the sound goes away and it like buzzes. So, you know, what we're going to have to get for Christmas is a, is a TV so that we can spend some time together, you know, just watching. We like to watch Food Network, watching the Great Bake Off and stuff. What do you guys like to watch? If you like to watch any TV, I don't like to watch the news, that's for sure. But um, anyway, that's enough about me. And we'll go ahead and get to the prayer. Here we go. Let's take a nice deep breath in and out. Presence here. God, I offer myself to thee to build with me and to do with me as thou wilt. Relieve me of the bondage of self so that I may better do thy will. Take away my difficulties so that victory over them bear witness to those I would help with love, with power, and way of life. May I do thy will always. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we can't change, to have the courage to change the things we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. So God's will be done. Keep coming back. It works if you work it. And yes, you all are worth it. And so am I. See you tomorrow, okay? Mm -hmm. And I'll get back with the Course in Miracles once I get it out of my car, because I'll do it when we can. Mm -hmm. Bye, you guys.